Hello. So welcome back to YJ's class. <laughs> um, how is everyone doing out there in this circuit breaker period? We still got six more weeks to go, so everyone just breathe. I hope you're hanging there fine. If you're not, talk to someone else, you know. And I also tend to find that um, the more you stay at home and you know that feeling of being stuck at home, not that I do not like to stay at home, but the feeling of getting stuck at home actually causes a lot of frustration there is inside us. So I noticed that temple tends to flare easily when you go outside right now. For example, if you go to the supermarket and someone is being very rude to you, it might trigger a lot of alarms inside you. So that is something I noticed. So when you catch yourself doing that, mm, you know, just calm down. Just know that this is a very difficult time for a lot of people and as much as we can be, we want to be kind to people around us, right? Because kinos spread kinos. All right, in this class, you will need a strap to come into Twining Vine. Um, I think that's all. <laughs> First time ever, you don't need the roll. Hmm. All right, let's start the class. Sit up tall and close your eyes. Put hands onto your knees. Connect sit bone down to earth and lengthen crown the head towards the sky. If you don't know what that means, it simply means to sit up really tall. <laughs> Get your breath really loud and deep. Activate your ujjayi breathing. So ujjayi breathing for my new friend who are not used to ujjayi breath is this breath that you make when you constrict the back of the throat so the when you inhale the air doesn't really go in directly into the lung into the windpipe so at the back of the throat when you constrict it it creates heat before it goes in because the air doesn't flow smoothly so activate your ujjayi breath if you don't know how to do an ujjayi breath think about Darth Vader breathing, you know, it has, he has that kind of breathing, yeah, so you want to do that when you come into Ujjayi breath. Uh, inhale, spread side ribs. Feel for both sides of the ribs spreading towards the side, expanding sideways. Next, exhale, pull belly in. So to show kindness, it all starts within you. So our intent today is to connect with your heart. So one quick way of breathing with your heart or connecting with your heart is to actually come into a breath called the heart focus breathing technique which is founded by the heart math institute if you don't know about the heart math institute you can just so go google and search they conduct research on what the heart do and what kind of information the heart gives to the surrounding around you and if you come from mainstream um, physical world and you are a very logical person, you might disown what hard math has researched. But hard math is a very scientific research in that sense about the heart. The heart is not just a beating mechanism that keeps you alive by transferring blood around. It actually creates an electromagnetic field around you. So the heart electromagnetic field reaches out three foot away from you. See, from your heart center, it goes three foot away. 
what happens is anybody in this field can actually trans you can actually transmit emotional information through this field so that you know other people around you actually can feel what you feel so that is how powerful the heart is but our intent today is to connect with your heart so when you come into poses feel your heartbeat it's that simple now open up your eyes and come into shoelace left foot on top of the right foot on top of ankle ankle on top of the foot inhale lift spine up next you pull the chest forward and come down relaxing your neck and your shoulder here just go to where the limits of your body is you don't need to go as deep as I am going especially for beginners you might end up up here now people with knees coming up like that it means your hip is really tight don't force yourself into the pose come into an easier sitting position and calm down you will work with shoelace once you loosen up the joint then inhale come back up coming into twisting shoelace over the thighs inhale lift chest up and twist over towards the left hand side next here pull the chest forward and down so just go as much as your body allows you to keep the spine straight if you start to round the back like this as you come down i would rather you to take the twist and sit up tall and more flexible people elbows down on the ground outside of the thighs inhale lengthen spine Next, you relax your neck and shoulders here. And release, come back up. Twisting over the foot. So twist your body over towards the right. Inhale, spiral and lengthen up the spine. Exhale to come down. You notice that you won't go very deep at first, it's fine. So as you inhale, continue to lengthen up the spine. And slowly working on the edges of this pose. Moving, exhale to move into the pose. Ease your way into the pose instead of forcing your way into the pose. There is a difference. And release, calm back up. Switch the crossings of your legs. And inhale again, lengthen spine, pull chest away from pelvis. Next here to come down. Keep your feet really active by flexing your feet. Inhale down into your hips. Next, you to soften the areas of the hip down. Feel for how you can soften them. And inhale, come up. Come into twisting shoelace over your thighs. Inhale, twist over towards the left and lengthen up the spine. Next, you to come down. Breathe in into the hips. So for me, over here, I can feel a lot in my left hip. So that is where I am breathing into. 
I can also feel on my left lower side of your my lower back the left side of my lower back there's a lot of space being created in these two areas inhale come back up and come into twisting shoelace towards the foot inhale scoop chest away from the pelvis and exhale to come down And release, come back up, come into interlock forward fold with left leg straight, right foot flat onto the ground. Inhale, pick your right arm out, stretch out the right side of your body long. Next, you to come forward, wrapping arms around shin and thighs, interlacing fingers behind you. If this is a little too much for you today, hold on to the foot. Inhale, scoop chest away from pelvis. Exhale, hinge the hip forward. Pull the chest forward. Release the interlock forward fold and come into a twist. Huge inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale. Squeeze over towards the right, putting right hand behind you, left hand hugging right thigh towards you, or elbows outside thigh. Big inhale, spiral your ribs up and away from the pelvis. Next, exhale to revolve from your body and not the neck. Release, switch over towards the other side. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, come forward. Deep inhale, lift chest away from hip. Exhale, bow forward. And release, coming into a twist. Inhale, scoop chest away from pelvis. Next, exhale, twist and revolve from the belly. So as much as you can, keep your chin to the center of your chest as you twist. So the twist doesn't come from the neck itself, but the body is twisting. So that was the intent of teaching you how to not twist from the neck, but using your body to twist. Feel for spiraling your spine up and away from the pelvis. And release. Come down to your back for elbow to knee. Today we have Hmm, straddle lifting throw. So come down to your back. Interlace fingers behind your head. Let the elbows point up towards the sky and bend your knees. Take a deep inhale, lift head and shoulders up. Hold the breath, press lower back down, scoop, tailbone up. Exhale, reach both elbows towards left thigh, right foot forward, spread toes, pull belly down. So if you don't know how pulling belly down feels like, think of yourself in front of a mirror, anyone who looks super slim. Huge in your back to center. Hold the breath. Press low back down. Scoop, tailbone up. Exhale, reach both elbows, right thigh, left foot forward. Spread toes, project out through the foot and pull belly down to the spine. Inhale, back to center. 
Hold the breath. Press lower back down. Scoop. Tailbone up. Exhale. Both elbows left high. Right foot forward. Pull belly down. Inhale. Back to center. Hold the breath. Press lower back down. Scoop. Tailbone up. Exhale. Both elbows right high. Left foot forward. Spread toes. Pull belly down. Huge inhale. Back to center. Hold the breath. Press lower back down. Scoop. Tailbone up. Exhale, both elbows, left eye, right foot forward. Spread toes, pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath. Press low back down. Scoop, tailbone up. Exhale, both elbows, right eye, left foot forward. Spread toes, pull belly down. Huge inhale. Come back to the center. Leave your legs straight up. Now take a deep inhale, spread side ribs. Next, you open your legs out into straddle. So in straddle lifting through, what you want to feel for is the thigh moving that direction away from the pelvis. So you need to keep your feet really active. Then as you exhale, scoop tailbone, straddle the feet wide apart and pull belly down, okay? Let's go. Interlace your fingers behind your head and point the elbows up towards the sky. Your head stay out throughout this one. Take a deep inhale. Lift head and shoulders up. Hold, exhale, scoop, tailbone up. Straddle, feet wide apart. Activate the feet. Pull belly down. Huge inhale. Head stay up. Lower the pelvis down. Exhale, scoop, tailbone up, straddle, feet wide apart, pull belly down. Inhale, lower the pelvis down. Exhale, scoop, tailbone up, straddle the feet wide apart and pull belly down. Huge inhale, lower the pelvis down. Don't give up. Exhale, scoop, tailbone, straddle, feet wide apart and pull belly down towards the spine. Huge inhale, lower the pelvis down. Next, you scoop tailbone, straddle, feet wide apart, and pull belly down towards the spine. Huge inhale, lower the pelvis. Exhale, scoop tailbone up, straddle, feet wide apart, and pull belly down. One more for every one of you out there watching this. Huge inhale in, into your lower back. Exhale, scoop, tailbone, straddle, feet wide apart, and pull belly down towards the spine. Inhale, lower the pelvis down. Use your hands to help your legs back to center and come down. Whew. Roll over towards your left and pick yourself up. Coming into dolphin, into dorsal fin. So come down to dolphin first. Come on to elbows and knees, grab hold of opposite bicep, shoulder injuries people, clasp your hands. Beginners, clasp your hands. Now take a deep inhale, lift upper back. Exhale, wrap shoulders, straighten up their legs into dolphin. Take a deep inhale, press your forearm into the ground. Exhale, lift ribs away from shoulder. Heels down. Now for those of you who have enough of dolphin, you stay here. The rest of us who are a little bit stronger and you want to go have a bit more, come into dorsal fin. Come up onto your left thumb. Wrap the right shoulder more. So right left thumb to the middle of the mat. Some of you can stop here. Then some of you, if you are a little bit stronger, left hand onto your lower back. Then if you are a little bit stronger and you want a little bit more, maybe right foot up. Grab hold of the right foot. Pulling heel to butt. Huge inhale. Press ground away from you. 
Neck too. Relax your neck. Release this side. Left elbow down. Come out onto right palm. Right palm to the back of your lower back. <laughs> Lift your left leg up. Grab hold of left foot. And inhale, press the ground away from you with your forearm. It's a very challenging pose, so if you, this pose is not for you today, come down into Dolphin. And gently release, come on down onto your knees, exhale. I hope you had fun there, because we are going to have more fun later. <laughs> Come to the front of the mat. For two rounds of sense with arrow lunge. Everyone loves some arrow lunge, right? Lunges. Hands to your heart center. Now inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Arrow lunge. Inhale, left foot step back, lower left knee down. Now unfuck the back foot and press the top of your feet onto the ground. Beginners, hands beside the front knee. Press the top of the feet down into the ground to lift left knee off. More advanced people come up onto hands on knees or arms up. Huge inhale, lift chest away from pelvis. Next here, scoop the chest up. And release, hands down, step back to plank pose. Knees down, modified chaturanga, lower all the way down. Now, low cobra. Hands forward, elbows underneath shoulder, pull the chest forward and up. Mm. Exhale, down dog. Arrow lunge, left foot forward, right knee down. Untuck the right foot and press the top of your right foot down into the ground. Lift right knee off the ground. Hands on thighs or arms up. Huge inhale. Lift chest up and away from pelvis. Exhale, squeeze your sit bone muscle. Release, back knee down and step forward into forward fold. Inhale, roll up, arms up. Exhale, hands heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Arrow lunge, right foot back, right knee down. And inhale, arms up or take whichever variation that allows you to stay in arrow lunge. Strong inner leg line of energy here. Release, hands down, step back to plank. Low down, modified chaturanga, knees down, come down, pulling. Shoulder away from your ear and away from the ground. Low cobra, leave ribs by pulling chest forward and up. Exhale, down dog. Arrow lunge, inhale, right foot forward, lower left knee down. Inhale, arms up. And release, back knee down, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, roll up, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Come into standing series. Hmm. Coming into warrior two. Right foot back into warrior two. Left foot forward.
Now take a huge inhale down into your legs. Next, you squeeze your sit bone towards each other. So feel for your legs pulling inwards so the spine can lift off the pelvis. Reverse warrior. Inhale, back arm up. Spread your right ribcage. Next, you come into reverse. Huge inhale down in through the side ribs. Next, you slide left thigh forward, coming back into your warrior two because we have a tendency to straighten up the front knee. Release, come back up, come into Archer Warrior, right hand up, left arm behind you. Big inhale, send elbows, right elbow up skywards. Next, you draw the left shoulder down. Now coming into Castle Weary, inhale your arms stay on your back. If you need to hold on to a strap, hold on to a strap or just hold on to your clothing. Now inhale, lengthen spine. Now pulling belly in, tip the body down and forward in between the thighs, sending elbows down towards the ground. Those of you who want an easier class, put chest on thigh. Arms still in archer. And the rest of us, come down. Release and come into head to ankle stage 2. Walk your arms towards the back and bow the crown of the head down towards the crown. Huge in your length and spine. Next, you press your feet down into the ground and activate your legs. Release and come into triangle pose. Readjust your feet to close up a little. Front hand on front shin. Lift back arm up. Huge inhale down into side ribs. Next, you lift ribs away from pelvis, especially your back ribs. Feel for it. Mm, coming into half moon or quarter moon. Left hand in front of left foot, move it a little bit towards the left. Some of you beginners, left hand on left block, come up into half moon. And more advanced people, grab hold of the back foot and pull the heel towards the butt. Now remember this quarter moon is a thigh opener and it's not a back bend. So pull the heel to butt, it's not your chapasana. I don't know whether I pronounced that correctly, so Ashtangi who are watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Release and come into vertical splits. Hands one foot distance away from the front foot. Now inhale, scoop chest long. Next, exhale, bow forward. Lifting back foot out skywards. You can open up the pelvis. You don't need to square the hips here. Turbo dog your arms by wrapping your shoulders. Release, come down into pyramid pose. Step the back foot down. 
coming into pyramid, hands on either side of the front foot. Your leg is in a warrior one stance. So back foot turns in around 60 degree to the front of the mat. Inhale, scoop chest long. Exhale, bow forward. Coming into twisting triangle, right hand down, left arm up. More flexible people, right arm outside, left pinky toe side. And beginners, hands on block. Huge inhale, lengthen both sides of your body long. Next, you twist and open up your chest. Release, step the back foot in, and grab your strap. There's a few stages you can work on here. Now the first stage, your right arm goes underneath your right thigh in between the legs. Then interlace your fingers behind you. Straighten up both your knees and roll open the chest. The other stage, you need a strap. Hold on to the strap like this, just in front of you. Now exhale, pass your right elbow outside left thigh, near the knee. Wrap the strap around the outer edge of your right thigh, from the left side. Walk your hands closer towards each other. Take a deep inhale, lift butt out towards the sky. Next, you'll spin open the chest by pulling onto the strap. Relax your neck here. And release. Coming into interlock warrior. Step right foot towards the back into warrior one. Next here, hook right elbow outside left thigh. Hands goes underneath the thigh and interlace the fingers behind you. If this is too much, hands grabbing onto your hip bone. Spin open the chest. Release wherever you are. Lower the back knee down and come into hip to ankle. Now first stage of head to ankle, people, elbows down onto the ground. Second stage, left hand goes underneath your left thigh. Grab hold of your ankle with your left hand and your right hand. And from here, work on moving head to the ankle. Then more flexible people, more flexible people. Slide your head underneath the ankle on exhale. And wherever you are, release and come on out. Come into twisting pigeon. So come down into pigeon pose first. Hands underneath shoulder, come down into pigeon. Once you're down into pigeon, parallel the shin to the front of the mat as much as you can. Now beginners people, beginners, grab on to the foot and move the center of your chest towards the foot. 
and then more flexible people, arms outside of the foot. Make a fist with left hand, press right palm into fist. Relax your neck here. Huge inhale down into the left hip. Next exhale, open up the chest. Release and come into sleeping pigeon. Move the foot a little more than 90 degrees forward. Beginners people put left elbow, left shoulder on top of left knee, then the head goes towards the ankle. More advanced people. Slide left shoulder underneath your left knee, the head goes underneath the heel. And gently release and make your way up. Stand up. And then we do everything else on the right side. Come into warrior two. <coughs> Arms up. <coughs> A huge inhale down into your legs. Next, you pull your legs together using a sit bone muscle. Coming into reverse warrior, inhale, left arm out. Stretch open the left side of your rib cage. Next, you into reverse. Reaching top arm overhead. Huge inhale, reach your right fingertips away from the shoulder. Next, you wrap the armpit. And then release, come back up. Come into Archer Warrior. Left arm on top, right arm below. Uh, inhale, lift left elbow out skywards. <laughs> Exhale, slide your right shoulder blades down. Coming into cassowary, inhale, lift chest up. Exhale, pull belly in and come on down. Elbows down towards the ground, lengthening the spine. Release your arms and come into head to ankle stage 2. <laughs> Walk your hands towards the back while you lengthen crown the head down towards the ground. Release and come on up. Come into your triangle pose. Readjust your foot. You need to close up a little bit. Right hand on right shin, left arm up. Huge inhale, scoop chest long. Next, you slide shoulder blades down the back, open up the chest. Mm. 
coming into half moon. Right hand in front of right foot, move it a little bit towards the right. Come out into half moon or take your quarter moon. Bend the back foot, bend the back knee, grab hold of the back foot. Pull the heel to butt. Huge inhale, scoop, chest open, lengthen up the spine. Next, you'll roll your chest towards your left hand side. Release, coming into vertical slits, hands down to the ground, one foot distance away from the front foot. Now, huge inhale, scoop, chest to open. Exhale, bow forward, turbo dog your arms and send left foot out towards the sky. Gently release the back foot down. Coming into pyramid pose. Hands on either side of the front foot. Inhale, scoop chest forward. Exhale, come down. Release and come into twisting triangle. Left hand down, right hand, right hand up. Big inhale, scoop, chest open. Exhale, roll open the chest. Release and come into interlock warrior. Bend the front knee, readjust your foot into warrior one. Inhale, left arm up. Next heel, hook left elbow outside right thigh. Then the arms goes underneath. Interlacing fingers behind you. Inhale, lift chest away from pelvis. Exhale, roll open the chest. gently release I forgot one pose <laughs> take your strap step to the front of the mat and come into your twining vine I forgot about twining vine left hand goes underneath left thigh it lays your fingers behind you this is for stage one people stage two people hmm. take the strap in front of you have your feet together. Next heel, left el right elbow, left elbow outside right thigh. Then loop the strap around the butt. Walk your hands closer towards each other and pull onto the strap. Lacing your the strap onto the left side of your butt. The inhale. Press the ground away from you and straighten up your hamstring. Next heel, your spine long, roll open the chest. Then gently release and come down into pigeon pose. No, hip to ankle, lower the back knee down. Right foot in front, left foot behind you, lower left knee down. First stage people, elbow down. Second stage people, slide right arm underneath right thigh. Grab onto the ankle and move head towards the ankle. 
more flexible people hit slide underneath release and come into twisting pigeon towards the foot come down into pigeon pose move the right foot in front of you parallel to the front of the mat beginners move center of chest towards foot more advanced people slide the elbows or foot or armpit to foot inhale open up chest Exhale, relax your neck. Gently release and come into sleeping pigeon. Your foot more than 90. Beginner student, right elbow and right knee, hit to ankle. More advanced people, slight shoulder underneath your knee and then the head goes underneath the ankle. And gently release take a seat because we're coming into armpit prep have your left foot on top of right knee tuck the foot in towards you now some of you if this is too much do a stage one where you pull the chest towards the foot the focus if you cannot go into the full armpit pose, the focus for you is to close up the space between your foot and your chest. So focus on moving chest to foot. The rest of us who are a little bit more flexible and more advanced in our practice, just hug the foot real close towards you. Right arm behind you and hook. Then coming into full armpit prep, right arm behind you, inhale left arm up, exhale hook left elbow outside right, left foot. Continue working on sliding the foot up to the armpit. This way. So as you twist deeper, it will go up deeper. So eventually, some of us will come into Yogi Dandasana. Grab onto the foot and pull it over towards the back. My foot is slipping. But this is a good start for some of us, where you hook the foot onto the elbow and pull it out towards the side. Okay? So to solve that problem, give me a minute. I grab my tower. So some of us will use the towel, have the towel wrap around the foot. Pass your arms outside. And press it this way. Scoop it into the armpit as much as you can. And release now the rest of us who are not doing this you come back into this twisting shoelace put left foot 
on top of right knee, knee on top of the foot. Then what happens is you pass your right el left elbow outside left foot. Form a fist with your left hand, press right palm into the fist. Roll open your chest. <laughs> Stop the video and rewind if you need time because we are moving on towards the other side. So this is not the easiest way to go into Yogi Dandasana. So if you need an easier way, you watch my other videos. Pause the video, have a few more rounds to see where we are going. So for those of us who go into a successful yogi dandasana, your next stage is to straighten up the right foot and bow your body over towards into a forward fold. And very gently walk yourself back up and release your yogi dandasana. Let's work on it on the right side. So once you come into your yogi dandasana, Straighten up the left foot and come forward into a forward fold. Very gently release and come on back up. Next, beginner student, your next pose is a crow pose on the block. Put the block in front of your feet. Let's see if this is possible to see. Okay, put the block in front of your feet, hands in front of the block. Step onto the block and put your knee onto your tricep. Leave your butt up high, bend the elbows like a shelf. Lean forward and push the ground away from you. Maybe one foot off, maybe the other one will come up. For the rest of us, we'll do armpit crow. So I would like to enter armpit crow from a standing position because your butt is already lifted. Then you're able to go into an arm balance. First, put the foot, left foot on top of right knee. Move the center of your chest towards the foot. Eventually, passing your left arm outside of your left foot. Once you are here, move the foot up towards your armpit high. Put both your hands down, press left foot into left arm, remove right knee, move the right knee towards your right tricep. And eventually, 
moving your right foot towards the side like a titi basana. Oh, go into a crow pose. It's not happening for me. Alright. Work on the left side. We won the video. I'm moving on to the right side. Now, once you're done, sit down to your mat. Come into a back release pose. Lay down onto your back, have your left foot over the right knee. Tread left arm on in between your thighs and grab hold of your shin. Now, if your shin is grabbing hold of your shin is too much, grab hold of the back of your thighs. Huge inhale into lower back. And exhale, gently pull the knees towards the chest. Release this side. Switch over towards the other side. Right foot on top of left knee. Right arm underneath and hold on to shin. Inhale into lower back. Press lower back into the ground. Exhale, move the foot towards the chest. And gently release, coming down onto your back for Shavasana. Straighten up the legs in front of you, let the feet fall out to the side. Hands by the side of your body, palm facing up skywards. Let go of your whole body and allow the ground to carry you. Soften to your jaw, your facial muscles, and the muscles around your eyeballs. Then if you need to make yourself comfortable, do whatever you need. You can pause the video and take a longer shavasana and for the rest of us who are ready to get up start to deepen the breath bringing awareness back onto your arms and legs roll over to the left then use your hands to pick yourself up. Hands to your heart center. Bow the head slightly down to your heart. 
continue your connection with your heart, especially in this challenging time. Connecting with your heart has been shown that it is able to move you into a calmer state. So take that wherever you find that the temple is flaring and people are really angry. Practice heart-focused breathing. It will bring magic into your life. I promise you that. <laughs> Namaste. Thanks for joining me. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.